welcome back to my channel and if you're new here then welcome to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a different type of video i'm going to be doing a sinking funds update video and i'm also going to be swapping out some bills for my sinking funds so the first thing that i'm going to do is show y'all my expense tracker this is available in my etsy shop i'm going to put the link down below um, in the description box so right here i have all of the transactions that i made in the month of may for all of my sinking funds so what i do is i use my credit card to make all of my transactions and then at the end of the month i go in and i take the money out of my sinking funds and make a payment to my credit card so i'm using my credit card but i'm paying it off in full at the end of every single month um, it's kind of this new thing that I'm trying instead of just going and taking out the uh, money from my sinking funds every time I make a purchase by using my debit card because it was way too many transactions and I really only want to use that for my bills. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put my expense tracker over to the side so that I can read off of it. And then I'm going to... Um, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my sinking funds tracker. So right here, I'm gonna post the, I'm gonna write down the categories and the starting amounts, and then I'll total that up right here at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and write this down and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I I went ahead and I added up my starting amount. So it looks like I started out the month of May with $1,944 in my sinking funds. So now I'm going to go through. Starting out with Angel and start swapping out the bills and taking out any money that I spent over um, throughout the month. So for Angel, I spent $23. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out $23. Put that over there. So now I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. I'm sorry, uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 110, 120. So the ending amount is $120 and the difference, I'm just going to take the ending amount and subtract the starting amount. And that is a difference of $38 added to my sinking fund for Angel. So I'm going to go ahead and swap this 20, 40, 60, 80, 91 for a hundred dollar bill. So it's condensed. Okay, so for my apartment, I see and I'll have 20, 40, 60, 80 dollars that I'm ending the month of May with. And that's as condensed as it can get. So and that is just $20 that was added to that sinking fund. 
Okay, so for my car, I do need to take $100 out of here. So I'm gonna take this $100 and put this over there. And now this is 20, 20, 45, 50. So, I'm gonna put all of that back and just grab a $50 bill. And so that is a difference of $65 gone from my car maintenance um, envelope. Okay, so for clothing, I did spend $10. So I'm going to be ending the month with $10. And since I just started the sinking fund, it is a change of $10 added overall. Okay, so for my hair, I have one, two, three, 50, 370, 380, 395, 96, 97, 98, 99. $399, but I need to take out, let's see on my expense tracker, it's $98.20 that I spent, but I'm gonna round that up to $99, and this should be it. 50, 70, 80, 95, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I'm going to put all this back. And that leaves me with $300. And that makes for a change of $40 added overall to my hair sinking fund. I still haven't gotten my uh, hair braided, so that's why the, um, that money is still in there from that. Next to household. And let's see, I have 100, 20, 40, 60, 82. 100, 220, 242, 60, 280. And let me just check my expense tracker here. So it looks like I need to take out $220. So I'll take out 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20. And that leaves me with $60. And that makes for a total change of $20 gone from my household sinking fund. Okay, for self-care, I did go and get a massage um, for the month of... I paid for me and my boyfriend to go get a couple's massage. It was so fantastic. Um, oh my gosh, I loved it. So I did take out, let me check here, my expense tracker. Looks like $93 that was spent for the month of May. So let's see, 50, 70, 90, 1, 2, 3. And that leaves me with 20, 40, 60, 75, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it leaves me with $85. For a total change of $7 added to my sinking fund overall. Okay, so let me swap out some bills. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20. And so that should be 85, 20, 40, 60, 85. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so for debt, I started out the month with $155. Let's see where I am now. 100, 150, 170, 190, 
210, 230, 235. And so that makes for a change, let's see, of $80 added. I think so I'm gonna go ahead and swap out some of these bills. I'll keep this one. This 50, let's see, 20, 40, 60, 80. Oh no, I need to keep this. I'm gonna keep it 20, 50, 70, 90, 110. Okay, so this is 100, 200, 220, 230, 235 for debt. Okay, my emergency fund is up next. I started the month of May off with $310 and now I'm ending it with one, two, 250, three, 320, 340, 360, 370 with $370. So that is a change of $60 added to my emergency sinking fund. Ignore the um the shaking or like the bells, the jingling in the background. This just angel. I'm sorry. Um, okay, so I'm gonna keep this. Let's see, that's 50, 70, 90, 100. Okay, so this is 100, 200, 300, 350, 370. Ladybug is up next and I do need to take $2 from out of here that I spent. Okay, so now that leaves me with 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60 dollars. And I started the month off with $53 for Ladybug. So that is a change of $7 added overall. Let's see, I'm gonna take five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and exchange it for a $10 bill. So that leaves me with 60. Okay, my savings is up next. I started the month out with $491. And now I have one, two, three, four, 50, 470, 495, 96, 97, 98, 99, 500. So it was just a change of $9 being added to my savings overall for the month of May. Not that much, but I wasn't really focused on savings. Okay, so this can stay and this is 100. I will take a hundred dollar bill and that should be 500. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, school is up next. And let's see, I have 100. Well, we started out the month with 165. So we're ending it with 100, 150, 160, 165, 170, 175, 176, 77, 78, 79, 80. So I'm ending it with $180 and that is for a change of $15 added overall. So let me see if I can condense this 150 let's see 1 2 3 4 5 10 15 20 So now I have oh let's see let's do it this way so that should be 180 100 150 170 180 Next is travel. 
I started the month of May off with $75 for my travel sinking fund, and I'm ending it with 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 100. So that is a change of $25 added. I'm just gonna swap this out for a $100 bill. Okay, so next up is Christmas, and I started out the month of May with just $20 for Christmas, and now I have 20, 40, 50. So that was a change of $30 added to Christmas. And I'm gonna swap this out for a just a $50 bill. So I'm gonna go ahead and add up the ending amounts and then I will be right back. Okay, so it looks like I'm ending off the month of May with a total of 2,200 um, I'm sorry, two thousand, yeah, two thousand two hundred dollars in my sinking fund. Um, I ended up adding two hundred and fifty-six dollars to my sinking funds overall, even though I took out money, which it's not how much I wanted to add, but I am still pretty proud of that. Um, definitely in June, I'm shooting for a much higher number, um, at least five hundred, five to six hundred dollars around that area. But like I said, I'm still pretty happy about it, um, even if it's just a dollar. I mean, something was added, so I'm proud of that. So this money is going um, back to the um, bank so that I can pay off my credit card with the money that I took out of my sinking funds and the other money that I took out to swap the bills that just came from my savings account. So that money is going back there as well. So I just wanna say thank you guys so much for tuning in to my video. I know it was a hot mess, but it's my first time trying to do one of these, so bear with me. Let me know down in the comments below if you would like to see one of these sinking funds um, update videos at the end of every month because I did kind of enjoy doing it, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.